the new year and when it's a new year everyone is hopeful so let us be hopeful that's what we're doing today we're giving you also we're arming you with tools that can help you find a job or stay uh, in a job or uh, stay with your careers this 2013 happy new year everyone you are watching Cabo by in LA and we are still with Tracy uh, you've met her so many times in 2012 giving us many tips on employment and today we're talking about new year's job resolution earlier we talked about making those resolutions and also now we're, uh, we talked about uh, keeping those resolutions but you know let's in general Tracy what is let's be real with the viewers what is the job market out there what is it like well it varies by state and by city of course right so so the, the recent numbers have said the job market is improved uh, California as you know compared to other states is not as robust mm -hmm. um, but there are jobs in certain sectors as we were just talking up you know in the Silicon Valley we always have job shortages is because we're looking for highly educated, highly skilled technology people. And that's a shortage, let's face it, in the United States. Right. But it's not uh, its not very difficult. You know that there's an opening in the technology industry. There are online certification courses that you can take, right, just to, just to improve yourself and improve your skills. Well, I think it's always smart to look at your education, look at certifications, and see how you can constantly enhance yourself. A lot of employers are looking for experience experience though mm. so having the you know the combi combination of experience with the education certifications is pretty powerful what about when you say that employment in the other states have picked up what kind of industries are those that's right so so in certain states that have um, more varied employment they're just more balanced mm. the one area that I would focus on for the new year is really health care mm. and IT right because the Health Care Act just passed there's a lot of unknowns there's a lot of projections about uh, an increased demand for nurses, increased demand for health care providers and supports, uh, and changes in the health care where health care will move out to the community. Mm -hmm. Health care will move out into your local retailer, right? Oh, Pharmacies. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities there or people to interpret the new insurance, mm -hmm. the new laws around health care, a lot of uh, personalized health care for baby boomers. Okay. Right, so, so you see, uh, that to me would be a segment that I would co right. concentrate on. In IT, small businesses, right? So small business is the engine in the United States, and small businesses today need IT and technology, right? 75% of the jobs by 2020 have a technology component. So whether you start a small business or you're a large business, there will always be a technology component. There you have it, IT and healthcare. That answers the first question in our New Year's job hunting to do uh, job hunting to do list, which is who will hire me? <laughs> That's right. I think people. That's Who's hiring? That's IT right. And healthcare. Okay. Well, I think people have to be very realistic when they're looking for a job. Instead of saying where do you want to be, you need to say who will hire me okay. today. Right? right. You have to have to have an honest assessment of what is my education, what are my skills, okay. what's my experience, and who would pick up the phone today and say yes. You're a direct fit for me today. You know that is, that is very good, very good advice. Also very practical because you're right. Some people would would think about you know where can where can I go next or where will I be hired? But then yeah, who will hire me based on what I have now, the skill set that I have? What will be a perfect fit? I guess this uh, relates to the second tip, which is job search tools. Yes. So what tools do I have? Do I possess that can help me in my job search? It also relates to that there's a proliferation of tools out there so mm -hmm. people need to understand that employers have job boards mm -hmm. so you can go to a Macy's job board but then you have job board firms like Monster and Career Builder that categorize jobs mm -hmm. and then you have something called job aggregators so that's something like Indeed or Juju boards and that's where you can put in your profile your zip code your specialty areas and it goes out and aggregates or pulls in a lot of different jobs right. and brings it to your desktop and I'm a big fan of aggregators because it's easier way for you to see all of the industries that right. match your skills rather than just I'm focused on Macy's or I'm focused on a Google and also uh, don't forget you know within companies there might be an opening in a certain company but you know different state perhaps if you're open to moving or things like that right or different absolutely. position absolutely and a lot of the job boards today are sophisticated enough that you can put in a specific zip 
zip code and only pull up the jobs in that area. So you might be flexible to be maybe here and up north. So you can put in the two zip codes and see just the jobs that fit that. And I think people need to learn how to screen. Uh -huh. Otherwise, it's overwhelming. Right, you see right. every job, and you know that not every job is a fit. All right. So we are talking about job hunting to-do list for the new year. And, of course, this should have been number one, resume. Update your resume. Update your resume okay. and just do it again. Mm -hmm. And here's some tips. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm a big fan of LinkedIn. I go out, I watch the webinars on there, they're free. They give you a lot of tips about job hunting. You can fill out your profile and you can click a button and it can actually make it into a resume PDF for you. So LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, Twitter, all those social media sites, do they really work for networking? So each, each are very different, right? So LinkedIn is very focused on job hunting, resumes, recruiters. Facebook is moving into that area. Um, something like Career Builder or Ladders also have career services where you can actually have someone help you online, write a resume, and actually you can even now set up personal websites. Oh. So there's a lot more tools out there for the job hunter okay. because there's a realization that it's hard to get jobs today and there's so many areas that people need to really perfect, particularly with this whole online job hunting. So you have your list, you're assessing whether it's working. Now when it's not working, how do you know that and what can you do? How can you switch? That's what we're going to be talking about, switching strategies. When we return on the show, don't go away. Kababayan LA, ahatid sa inyo ng McDonald's.